Hello guys, it is the Gaming Weasel back again with another video, and in today's video, we're going to be covering the best Warframe settings you can possibly apply in 2021. Now, I did make a Warframe Boost video, and it's been, you know, pretty good, some people enjoyed it, and it seems to be, you know, pretty cool, so... If you want to see that, you can click the little annotation up there. Even though this is an older game, some people and most people have already pretty decent PCs. But, you know, decided to make that one. But this is a whole settings video. So covering UI, covering, you know, in-game little stuff to tweak your game to make it much easier and, you know, convenient for you guys. So let's get right into this. Go click escape, click escape and then go to your options. Now controls if you're using a controller you can customize your controller right here uh, now there is a ton of settings here so you can basically adjust this to your preferences so i'm not going to be covering that but customize key bindings i'm going to show you a little one thing that i recommend you change so the gear hotkeys now i set my gear 7 which is going to be my energy pizzas to mouse button 5 and then my 12 to my mouse button 4 which is my cypher so this will allow you just by pressing your mouse 5 button key which of course i do have two buttons on my mouse and 90 percent of you guys that have gaming mice have these and pressing this button will allow me to place down an energy pizza real fast and then gear hotkey number 12 will allow me to hack consoles pretty fast now basically what you need to do here is just go here into your arsenal go into your gear wheel click on your gear and check out which one that you need for example more often ciphers and energy pizzas are almost always used so you know that's what i keep them at now that is it for the key binds and key customizations as i said this is very very preference based so you can customize this to your heart's content so i'm not gonna really go into this that much we have the gameplay tab now uh the gameplay tab is also very customizable uh, of course i mean it's there for a reason so allow invites from you can set this to all nobody friends uh, now, I do keep it at all, just because, you know, might as well, if you're going to play with someone random, uh, you know, they're going to invite you, and if they're not in your friends list, you know, you can't play with them. If you really want to be antisocial, you can just click or friends or nobody, so it really is dependent on what you want to play at. Receive gifts from, keep this at all, you never know, someone might send you a completely random gift. Receive friend requests, so keep this at all as well, uh, because, you know, maybe if you read someone new, they're not going to be able to send you a friend request if you know it's set to friends so show friend notification basically it's going to show up uh, in here where your active sales for example are and your resources and your resource boosters sorry and your other boosters are active create a mode keep this on on if you know you're creating content of course it's very useful because it hide, hides transmissions and also hides you know your login information and uh, some common spoilers so definitely keep this at on set your region to your corresponding region you as you can see you have europe you have south and north america you have auto detect if you really want to you have oceania asia eastern europe and or russia so we have europe here because i live in europe we have my matchmaking is to set at 300 and now you can set this at a number you basically want to but no limit is the one that people usually set it at i have been having some issues with Warframe lately with ping issues so i set it to 300 pc type laptop or desktop i keep it with auto detect i mean i am on a desktop but might as well legacy colors keep this at off do not change these three settings uh i would if your uh port is not at this number right here change it to this one because this is the default port for warframe gore enabled i keep this on if you don't like it keep it off link your steam account it's going to be very useful because you can purchase a lot of stuff inside of warframe platinum and or bundles through your steam wallet so that is going to be very very cool chat uh, very customizable as well uh recruiting chat and trade chat keep this at on because you're always going to need these two uh q a if you're a new player definitely keep this on as well and you can disable region chat if you don't want to but if you have some people in your region that you maybe want to talk to keep this on as well profanity filter if you don't want to see bad words turn this on if you want to see bad words keep this at off 
chat message timestamps i would recommend you turn this on this is very nice inline private messages yep uh, active tab uh, notification turn this off rpv6 uh keep that at on emojis as text and now you if you want to see any of the four frames emojis maybe they're ugly to you maybe you hate them maybe you just want to see them wipe it off the face of the earth keep this uh, disabled or sorry enabled and then smile conversion keep this it uh, correct as well or disabled if you don't want to see you can customize the color here as you can see you have tons and tons of colors and i keep it at purple because purple is my favorite color and chat text size and or chat scale you can keep these at on this is your ignore list so this is where you find it uh, these are the people that you're ignoring i'm actually gonna you know disable these because these are people that you know try to scam me that uh, just didn't want to communicate in any sort of normal fashion like people should be so uh, and also are harassing and so on and so forth i mean not in my sense uh, not haters on my youtube channel and stuff like that i don't even you know put aside love any sort of criticism but uh, you know that list is sort of for people that or try to scam you or just are not willing to do anything nice and normal so i keep the abnormal bad people inside of that ignore, ignore list so UI customization going into interface of course UI customization here is where you customize your theme I've been asked about this but uh, here you go you go here and you can change your theme now some of these do cost platinum I mean all of them cost platinum and you can change this to your heart's content and uh, you know change this in any way you want pick any one that you want I use the Fortuna because of course the the you know sort of futuristic color scheme so i'm gonna select that one uh this is the background that you have for example right now i have the zephyr harrier uh, background but you can choose other ones like uh you know like this one the fortuna you have the legacy one oh uh, yeah with the equinox background we have the vitronum background as well this is basically your background where you know when you log in when you're inside of a menu or stuff like that this one is going to be shown up I'm going to keep the Zephyr one because it looks the cleanest, so I'm going to keep that. And sounds, of course, you can change the sound. You have these four, so let's go maybe hear them, hopefully. These are the sounds that you're going to hear when you click buttons and do stuff like that. Here you can change your cursor to these selectables right here. I keep mine at uh, this one because it looks okay-ish and I keep the color at the white because it's pretty easy to see. But you can pick a color uh, whichever one you want. As I said, I keep it at a white just because I do uh, want my, you know, you people that are watching to actually see it you can change the scale here as well but i don't recommend you do that that much because you know i maybe you can see better than i can but uh, you can change it to massive amounts of numbers so item labels keep this at all out of focus fields actually basically just copy this 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 can stay the same uh i've UI cursor sensitivity this can be I guess uh, customized as well menu scale you can customize as well uh, now I did choose full but you can uh, set the custom or legacy but uh, I keep it at full just so the, the, the ratios say the same mark your pet I would definitely recommend you keep this at on because I've had situations where I've lost my pet millions of times so having a little marker above his head is going to be very nice show fps this is the little, this little thing at the bottom left corner which is going to show your utilization of your ram your vram uh, your ping as well and your frame rate so that's really cool you have subtitles as well uh, ui in screenshots some people disable this some people enable this so it really depends on uh, what you want to do now if you're playing in game and if you're just you know running about in warframe and you see something cool you can disable the ui by you know of course having this uh, enabled Customize colors. You can customize the colors of literally every single thing here. So friendly, default, uh, you know, objective, down teammates, and so on and so forth. You can change all of this if you want to. I personally don't because I do not want that to happen. So here you can basically enable or disable what you want here. Uh, lock map rotation is one of the things that maybe you can enable because you know maybe you get disoriented if the map rotates but I honestly rarely look at the map anyway so I do not bother with that. You can uh, customize the HUD motion, you can customize the HUD scale. HUD motion I would keep on just because you know it looks cool when it moves around so no, I keep that on, but very, very changeable here. Nothing really to improve your efficiency here in these sort of settings, uh, so I wouldn't really recommend that. Moving on to display. 
Now, if your yeah, PC can handle it, you can definitely turn on the enhanced engine. For me, it's uh, you know a bit bug buggy, so I keep the classic one. Full screen, definitely would recommend full screen. If you're having a little bit of issues, then borderless would be okay-ish, and I'll show you what to do in that situation as well. 1080p is my resolution, uh, 144 hertz. Uh, my aspect ratio is auto, but the default for 1080p is 16 times nine. Vertical sync, I keep this at off because I do have AMD's free sync, so I don't have to worry about that. You can limit your frame rate if you want to. This is pretty good in some situations because Warframes, for example, can take up a lot of resources and then OBS cannot record normally. So I do know some people that actually limit their frame rate. So you can do that as well. I honestly don't have any sort of issues with this, but uh, yeah, you can put it on no limit if you're just playing video games or playing Warframe. Uh, colorblind compression you can uh, change this to whichever colorblindness you have uh, so you can change that as well the field of view i would definitely recommend you put at 90 because the more you see the better we have a uh, screen shake i disable this i would definitely disable this there's no need for your screen to shake like a madman uh, reduce teammates visual effects i keep this at on because might as well not see uh, my whole screen get destroy't Effects intensity, you can change this as well. My preset is set a custom, and basically these are my settings that I use. Now, I don't really have any recommendations here. This is basically dependent on your PC. If you have, you know, a little bit lower PC, turn most of these off. If you have a decent PC, turn some of them on, some of them off, and so on and so forth. The one that I recommend everybody turns off is motion blur. You do not need this. You do basically do not need this. It is uh, doesn't look nice. It just can cause sickness in some people uh, motion sickness and honestly you just do not need it in my opinion and then uh, optimized flip model now this is going to be very good for people that use borderless and windowed as i said previously so if you use one of those two this will uh maybe improve your performance so there you go uh, you have that option as well so there you go we covered the display and let's go to the audio this is basically customizable if you don't want to hear all this all the time turn them down if you don't want to hear nora turn her down and um, you know this is basically everything about sound i do keep uh, every reverb at re advanced so there you go enable hint transmissions i turn off and enable player hit marker sound uh, i keep it on because it sounds pretty cool uh then muting uh, the game while it's in the background definitely keep this on maybe if you want to go onto youtube and watch something you don't want to hear warframe in the background so keep that at on and then here you can uh, you know customize your mm, game uh, sounds i mean your microphone and so on and in chat now people usually disable uh enable chat maybe because somebody really annoys them a lot so some people disabled it as i said people don't really use warframes in game uh push the talk features so this is basically useless to be perfectly honest with you but when you're done click confirm it's gonna load up some settings may need a restart and will take effect after you restart the game but that is basically it hope you guys enjoyed this a little bit longer video if you guys did leave a like a comment and subscribe to try to make warframe content on a weekly basis and i will see you guys next one Game Weasel over and out.